Hello everybody, we're back up in Vernon, New Jersey, and we're doing work on our aquaponic system in between rehab and my house that I have up here. Uh, so the first thing that we're doing today is we're going to be putting the liner into the grow bed as well as putting in the bulkhead fittings uh, into the liner and mounting that all so that it works for our loop siphon and for our overflow. So let's do that. Okay, so here we have our bulkhead fitting. If you can see it here. Uh, basically, what this does is it makes an interface between the inside of the grow bed and the outside pipe that's going down to the fish tank. Um, so these uh, you can't find in a hardware store or a Home Depot or anything. You have to order these special online. Uh, you can order these from pond supply places. Um, and they're pretty cool. They have a threaded fitting on the inside and the outside uh, that you can mount stuff to. So yeah, these are pretty cool. So the issue I'm dealing with here, and they also screw in counterclockwise instead of clockwise, which is an interesting thing. Maybe it's because it's made in Canada. Made in Winnipeg, Canada. All right, so we have our one by tw one by twelve thing here, uh, and what we got to do is put this all the way through. So we're kind of uh, in a pickle spot because that's obviously a little tight. Uh, so I don't know. So what we probably have to do is use a piece of wood more like this, which will do very nicely and tighten down pretty well. So I've got to cut out a spot here for my loop siphon. So cutting through this uh, is pretty easy with my little multi saw here. Uh, these are great for everything, uh, especially when you're doing creative projects like this where you have to improvise. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. siphon. So now I'll be taking uh, this piece of wood here and I'll be mounting it on the inside which is what the loop siphon will go through. Here we have all the pieces we need for our loop siphon fitting. That'll get mounted right underneath like this. And our loop siphon will come out here, loop up and come back down to the fish tank. So you can see that there's a gasket here, uh, which the pond liner goes inside between the gasket and the bulkhead fitting. And that's how we keep a watertight seal. Now we have to do the same thing on the bottom here. Uh, I haven't picked a place yet, but that'll be for our overflow. As you know, in living in city apartments, uh, biggest problem is you get leaks. So we want to prevent uh, water from overflowing the top and going into the downstairs apartment and getting that knock on the door. So next up, let's make that overflow. So here we have the grow bed with the pieces of quarter inch plywood spanning any gaps. The reason why I put that big piece across the bottom there was because I could imagine the pond liner bulging out from the weight of the hydrogen and the water. So now that should prevent that. I also It's also a mounting point for my uh, bulkhead fitting down there. And as you can see this piece here, uh, that's going to be for the overflow. So that just fits in there and screws right in. We we'll use some Teflon tape to put that in. Uh, and over here we have the what will be the loop siphon. 
So that'll come in here and put it across like that and then the pipe will come across the bottom here all the way across the bottom here and that's where it'll drain the the bed from uh, for the flood and drain technique in aquaponics. Okay so we have our pond liner the question is now how do we get it into the box and have it line that box now with pond liner it's the same thing that they use on roofs EPMD uh, and this stuff is pretty durable it can last for up to 50 years or something like that but on a roof application they're typically uh, cutting corners you know so they can fit it into an inside corner over there and they'll cut the corner and cut the corner and then they'll take those two things and they'll patch it and they have all these products uh, that cost a lot of money to be able to do those kind of patches so I'm just gonna do a um, stick it in and fold it method uh, took me a while to figure this out but we'll give it a try essentially what I'm gonna do is lay it out here with the corners matching the corners get it somewhat even see this side is a little shorter As you can see, these two sides are longer than the other two sides. So now, the idea is to stick it in to the box. Perhaps I should show the other side. Stick it into the box. I hold the corner directly over the corner. drop it right down to the corner and just keep working it one corner at a time have patience so I finished making all my folds now uh, as you can see some of them are uneven some are bigger than others uh, that doesn't really matter because I'm going to put some molding uh, around the outside here. Uh, you'll not see the rubber except for inside of the grow bed. And even then, the hydrogen is probably going to come up to about a quarter inch above the rubber liner. Uh, so, I've got myself a nice new razor blade. And I can feel my hole here. And also, uh, where is it? Over here. So, I'm just going to go for it and make these cuts here. I'm going to try to make them a little bit smaller than the hole and see if the liner stretches a bit. Okay, so it's late in the day. Uh, I've attach this rail around it uh, and uh, really what this is here to do is to keep the liner uh, attached to the system so I put three screws in each side I've also done some staples underneath and now I'm just finishing up cutting the rubber away so I have a nice clean finished edge Staple there that's holding me up. All right, all cleaned up. Up oh, one last edge. Hmm. 
Now we have our finished grow bed. Hopefully that'll hold water. Um, there's one last thing I'm going to add, which is another piece just underneath. I kind of almost don't need to add that. I have the wood for it, but it kind of looks nice without it. You won't be able to see the liner underneath. So maybe I just won't add that. Um, and that's it. That's the grow bed. She's done.